Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a version upgrade for Brave Browser that started rolling out late yesterday in my region on the 5th of March. And to double check we have the update, as always we head to our main menu, Help About Brave. Latest version in bold after the update has been applied is version 1.76.73. And the Chromium platform has also been bumped up to the latest uh, release and version 134.0.6998.45, which puts that in line now with Google Chrome. Now, just to focus quickly on the security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, there are 14 security fixes uh, for this week. And... Although there are 14 vulnerabilities that have been patched, there is only one high severity vulnerability. All the others are rated medium to low. And the high severity vulnerability is listed as out of bounds read in V8, which is the V8 JavaScript engine. So 14 security fixes um, have been rolled out to address those security flaws. So just make sure your browser is patched sooner than later because it is your first line of defense. But on that note, as I've mentioned previously, I have mentioned that Brave is very good at updating itself in the background. I very seldom come to the browser and the update hasn't been applied automatically in the background already. Now, just to focus on what's new, because this is a version upgrade. And first of all, if you are using the wallet the cryptocurrency web3 side of things in the browser then there is an add-on and we get two fixes and then brave leo which is the ai assistant that comes bundled in the browser has received a couple of updates so just to mention these they added the ability to stop a streamed leo response and if we head into the settings leo in the settings of the browser, Brave says they've updated the UR for the Brave settings Leo AI page. So there's a couple of user interface tweaks and adjustments on this page. And then they have updated the Leo paywall to include annual pricing. That's obviously if you are paying for Leo as an advanced feature. And then there's also a fix that's rolled out for Brave Leo if you do find yourself using the AI chatbot in Brave. Now, moving on to some general new features and improvements. Um, according to Brave, they've added localization support for several new languages, including Serbian, Latin, Serbian, Cyrillic, and others. And then there's a security fix uh, for the browser itself, where they fixed the Tor private browsing where fixed Tor leaks as reported on Hacker One, So that's a security um, fix that's rolled out for Tor private browsing. And then there are two forgetful browsing fixes. Now forgetful browsing, um, in case you're unaware, is if we head into a web page like my channel and you click on Brave Shields, which is the built-in ad blocker and content blocker, forget me when I close this site so that's basically a privacy um, setting that's built into brave shields which by the way brave shields as far as i'm concerned is one of the best content and ad blockers out there that is built into the brave browser as i've mentioned previously so first of all the first fix is they fixed persistent google cookies not being removed when forget me when i close the site is enabled and then the second one is they fixed an issue where forgetful browsing was deleting local storage in certain cases when launching in incognito mode. So I think that's quite an important fix. So two fixes for forgetful browsing have rolled out. And then for vertical tabs, there are two fixes for vertical tabs. So if you are using vertical tabs, you may find this of interest, where the first is a crash which could occur when detaching a vertical tab in certain cases. So that's an important fix. And then they fixed the cursor being displayed with incorrect position when detaching a vertical tab to its own window. So two important vertical tab fixes have rolled out if you do find yourself using that feature in the browser. And that's more or less, guys, what has rolled out with version 
1.76, which is now the latest release. And considering this is a major release compared to other version upgrades, um, not too much going on when it comes to front-facing new features compared to other releases. And just on a side note, we are expecting Microsoft Edge to still be updated to version 134, if not later today, tomorrow. And if you are using Vivaldi, while we are talking about updates, Vivaldi is very close to its version 7.2 release, which will also be its next version upgrade. And I'm sure that if we don't see version 7.2 by the end of this week, it'll be rolling out very early next week if you are using the browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.